Hello everyone. Welcome to AVLSI lecture number 16, part number 2. So today we will continue our discussion on common gate amplifier and uh, solve a numerical. So a uh, question number 1 says that a microphone having a DC level of 0 drives a common gate amplifier biased at id equal to 0.5 milliamperes that means your microphone signal is applied to the source terminal of a common gate amplifier uh, wherein the id value is biased at 0.5 milliamperes so the value of the drain current is given to us now if w by l is 50 mu n cox is 100 microampere per volt square vth value is 0.5 we need to determine the maximum allowable value of rd and hence the maximum voltage gain with lambda equal to 0 and with gamma equal to 0 so that means we have to use our elementary formula for the gain that is gm into rd so if lambda is equal to 0 and gamma is equal to 0 for this we have to determine the maximum allowable value of rd and the voltage gain maximum voltage gain so let us begin so we have to identify which amplifier i mean there it is directly given that it's a common gate amplifier so we have drawn the diagram your vdd is given as 1.8 volt output is taken across the drain terminal input is applied to the source terminal now uh, m1 transistor is in saturation so for lambda equal to 0 the drain current will be given by half mu n cox w by l into vgs minus vths the whole square so the same formula can be written in different way in terms of vgs so vgs can be equal to vth plus uh, twice id divided by mu n cox w by l the whole raised to half so from this vth value is available it's 0.5 id value is 0.5 milliamperes mu n cox is 100 micro and w by l is 50 all this data is given to us from here you find out the value of vgs and it will definitely came out come out to be 0.9472 volt so plug in the values all the values in your calculator and solve it you will definitely get the value of vgs equal to 0.9472 okay i'll wait for 5 uh, seconds for your answers and then we will proceed okay so let's proceed ahead so for the m1 transistor to remain in saturation we have two conditions vgs should be greater than or equal to vth and vds should be greater than vgs minus vth so uh, vds is vd minus vs so let let me take this diagram down i mean let me copy it one more time for simplicity over here so that we get more clarity okay so in this diagram what is vds drain voltage is v out and the source voltage is v in so vds is actually v in minus v out minus v in and what is vgs vgs is actually vb minus v in right and uh, v in has a zero dc level that has been given to us right so v in will be zero dc level right so vgs will be equal to vb which will be equal to uh, vgs we have found out which will be equal to 0.9472 volt that just now we have found out right and uh, to check out the second condition v out should be greater uh, greater than vgs minus vth so vds is v out minus v in vgs is vb minus v in and here it will be minus vth so v in v in get cancelled out so v out should be greater than vb minus vth and for it to be uh, you know um, then we will equate it as follows also v out can be written as vdd minus id rd okay so we have two formulas now for v out one is v out is equal to vdd minus id rd and other its its value should be greater than vb minus vth so that means vdd minus id rd should be greater than vb minus vth correct so your vdd value is 1.8 volt id value is 0.5 milliamperes rd value we have to find out vb value is 0.9472 and vth value is 0.5 so from here after simplifying it has been found that the rd value has to be lesser than 2.7056 kilo ohms so the maximum allowable value of rd is 2.7 kilo ohms okay i hope that answers the question 
and uh, next for the gain we know that gain of this amplifier was given by gm into rd so for that we have to calculate gm value so gm value is given by mu and c ox w by l vgs minus vth so mu and c ox value is available w by l value is available vgs we have calculated 0.9472 and vth is available so plug in the values in the calculator you will definitely get the value of gm as 2.236 milliampere per volt okay and once we get the value of gm it's a mere formality to substitute over here because we have got the exact formula i mean exact value of rd also above so rd value has to be less than 2.7056 kilo ohm this substitute this value right so av will be gm into rd for a common gate amplifier with lambda equal to 0 and ignoring the body effect so it will be 2.236 milliamperes per volt into 2.7056 kilo ohms so your maximum voltage gain it's 6.0497 so that's the value of the volt maximum voltage gain which we are getting you can cross check your answers substitute these plug in these values in the calculator and determine the value of maximum voltage gain okay now let us understand what is the maximum allowable voltage swing for a common gate amplifier so your maximum value of a, you know v out max can go to vdd so it can go to 1.8 volts but the vo minimum value will be vb minus vth and that value vo minimum is what uh, vb minus vth if you do uh, vb value is how much uh, vb value is given over here as 0.9472 and vth value is 0.7 so vo minimum will be 0.4472 volt so your maximum allowable voltage swing will be uh, vo max minus vo minimum okay so this is the way uh, we can uh, if they ask you to to determine the maximum allowable voltage swing it will be v out max minus v out minimum that will be 1.8 minus 0.4472 volt okay if they ask you they have not asked this in this numerical but still i thought it's important to tell you ki if they ask you this how to determine that so i think all the values we have determined now let me revise what we have done so they have asked to find the maximum allowable value of rd and hence the maximum voltage gain for lambda equal to 0 and gamma equal to 0 so first from the given data we found out the value of vgs and then uh, we also found out the condition for rd so rd came out to be 2.7 kilo ohms the maximum allowable value and then we found out the value of gm plug in the value of gm in the voltage gain formula so av is gm rd and we got the maximum value of voltage gain and also the maximum allowable voltage swing will be v out max minus v out minimum so that is all from this numerical right so we have completed one numerical on common gate amplifier and next time we will solve some other numerical so until then have a good day and thank you